Hey, welcome to the Christmas jumper edition of a tea and cheese uh, video. I'm so excited. I know, I've had a giant Christmas boner all night. In late 2012, we pitched our web series Noobs to Amazon Studios in the USA. America! But pitching over Skype is pretty difficult, so we're filmmakers and we thought, why don't we make a pitch? film. Wow, that is an excellent idea. When you pitch normally, um, you kind of have to trust that the person that you're pitching to is going gonna, is gonna to pitch it along to their boss with the same kind of passion uh, and uh, knowledge of, of, of the show. With the pitch video, you can kind of perfect everything and you can kind of know that everyone who sees it is having the same experience. Oh, it's in my eyes! It's in my eyes! And the main idea with this video uh, was to communicate what noobs would feel like and who the characters were and how a a typical episode might play out. So we're putting this pitch video online for everyone to see, just in case anyone is trying to do something similar, uh, because this method actually worked for us. Amazon Studios bought noobs in the room. A few months later though they decided that they were going to move away from kind of adult animation towards I guess more live action stuff. Ah crap. But hey, we have a new 15 minute action film style cartoon called Isaac and Quincy. Uh, that's coming very soon and we're going to be pitching that as a show in the new year. There's brand new episodes of Noobs which are, which are online right now which there'll be links to probably down below. And we do a weekly podcast about everything tea and cheese related. So uh, please subscribe to that if that's your thing. We also have a, a, a game which is coming out on iOS and Android very, very soon. So that's it. Uh, we hope you enjoy this pitch video. And uh, if you're pitching your own TV show, good luck. <laughs> Hi, we're multiple award winning super duo T and Cheese. And this is our pitch video for Amazon. Noobs follows a group of dysfunctional potty mouthed retro computer game characters who, having not been played for years, jump out of the console and into real life. Independence Day. And these pussies have the nerve to show their faces? Mmm, what a lovely cup of tea. Oh yes, just delicious. Could you pass me a biscuit? In this high def world with no controllers, they are completely free. They go on epic adventures and even explore each other's games. The noobs are like little kids trying to make sense of the world, but the violent clash of their pre-programmed personalities means that living together is never easy. I'm on a fucking dinosaur, bitches! Each episode will have a clear moral message, but the noobs completely fail to see it and draw twisted conclusions about how the real world works. The new TNG's entertainment system, only $1,999.99. Warning, excessive playing may cause erectile dysfunction. The show has an ensemble cast, but Tipler, the star of Terminal Water Slide, is our central character. He hates his game because he gets tortured all the time. Real life, however, is a place where Tipler can finally make his own decisions and do whatever he wants. Thank you for this opportunity to maybe kill myself. He's manipulated, takes bad advice, and usually ends up with his swimming trunks around his ankles and his bum out. <coughs> <laughs> and she said, please help me, I'm so poor. And I said, huh, yes, and it's revolting. <laughs> well put. That brings us to the super duper British brothers. These guys were the stars of the most popular game on the console. And so in real life, they're these jumped up, spoiled, arrogant twits. Take that, Santa. Look at all these presents. This is the best Christmas ever. They're the bad guys of the show who will stop at nothing to expand their empire. Come on, darling. At least you can let us cover feel of your delightful jubblies. Right, that's it. <laughs> what the bloody hell was that for? I know. In her game, Princess has nothing to do except wait to be saved. So when she comes into real life, she wants to prove herself to the other noobs. She's more than just a bit part player with a huge pair of tits. She's got a brain. If the princess has a problem though, it's that her extreme competitiveness often leads her down morally questionable paths. It's time for carnage. Johnny fucking carnage. Johnny Carnage is a pumped up action hero renegade. He loves guns, he loves explosions, and he frequently embarks on paranoid campaigns against evil. He also uses Tipler as his favorite piece of cannon fodder. And even though you've never flown a plane before, I believe in you. Uh... Tipler's best friend is a French monkey and star of the noir point and click adventure, Monkey City. He's an inquisitive detective with a sidekick mouse cursor who is the Watson to his Sherlock-like mind. Monkey's vice, though, is his love of banana daiquiris. Bonsoir, ladies. 
Yes, I am French, and I love to dance. Despite his flaws, Monkey is a deep philosophical character who tries to think his way around problems. This infuriates Carnage, who prefers a more forceful approach. Dick Cannon! Noobs features a whole world of auxiliary characters, and we're just going to run through them real quick. Pooper Scoop is like the family dog. He has a compulsive nature and he's always getting Tipler into trouble. In his game, Wizard is a wise old sage, so the noobs always come to him for advice. Problem is that in real life, he's always drunk on potions. Touch me, Justin Bieber. You're my only hope. Kung and Fu are stars of the Street Fighter style game Back Alley Rage. In the game, they're these big, muscly macho men, but when they come out into real life, they're fabulous, flamboyant, theatrical homosexuals. And finally, we've put together a trailer for what we think will be an awesome pilot episode. It's called Poopzilla, and we hope you enjoy it. Cheers! You might think being a computer game character would be awesome. But fuck you, asshole. It sucks. I get dipped in acid, set on fire, I get stuff shoved up my butt, I get my eyes gouged, kicked in the dick, foot chopped off, sausages made out of my hands, and then I have to eat them. And just when I think it's all over, and I'm actually dead, I come back to life and it starts all over again! Out here, I make my own rules! This is my new best friend, Poop Scoop. Get back here, you little piece of shit! There's a load of other new characters to meet, too. I claim this land for the Empire! Come on, Princess. Let's get those buns out and have ourselves a party. There's lots of new things to discover. And a lot of stuff still doesn't make sense. Real life is our new home. And I think we are going to be really happy here. He doesn't usually get that big. Bravo, Tipler! Another classic fuck up to add to your collection. Ah, oh, come on. You think anyone's gonna notice? Oh my god, a giant yellow thing just killed my wife! I guess we gotta go get him. Let's do this! Oh, yeah.